Hey guys, uh, Tom Terry Holmes here, Linux MCE. Uh, just wanted to kind of give you a quick demonstration. Uh, I just finished doing the uh, finishing touches on uh, fixing uh, XML push with the Cisco 7970 phone. Well, what does this mean? Well, uh, quite simply, uh, now that any time that the orbiter needs to change on the phone, the uh, proxy orbiter on the server will send the appropriate push request to the phone to do it. So, without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you the feature. You'll notice here, I have a Cisco 7970 phone running the small UI orbiter, as usual. Uh, I also have a uh, Nokia N810 here that I have running the orbiter as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and select something to play. And it'll be anything. It really doesn't matter. But you'll notice that the moment that I start selecting and hitting play to do something, I've selected 2001 in this case, I go ahead, I hit play, You'll notice that the orbiter here has changed its display appropriately and that it is now playing on display, which, as you can see, there we are. Neat, huh? So, and again, it it keeps up with all the with all the starts and stops. It takes an average of about a second and a half for it to realize that the display has changed. Once I hit stop here, you'll see that it's done the push. The main menu updates itself, and everything's back to normal, so to speak. So anyway, it works with audio too even. No problem there. I can go ahead, I'll go ahead and uh, put together a quick playlist. Everything from altered images here, just this one album. What the hell. You'll notice that it uh, updated itself. And if I change songs, And pretty much anything, uh, anything as a result that needs to be updated on the orbiter will be updated automatically, but only if it needs to. If I do a volume change or whatever, it will send the volume change and immediately update the screen appropriately. There's still some bugs in the proxy orbiter, so yeah, you see the little gray area right there, but we'll fix that in due time. We're right here. Now, it's actually functioning. Now for my final trick, I'm actually going to do a DVD movie. I'll hit stop here. Notice that the Cisco Orbiter has updated itself appropriately. And I'm going to go ahead and play a video with a DVD menu on it. Doesn't really matter what. I'm just going to pick something that I know has DVD on it. So I'm going to go to Options. And I'm going to go to DVD. OK. Something I know has a DVD menu on it. Let's see. Something that's animated would really be nice. Actually, The Evening with Kevin Smith would be cool. Let's do that. Oops. Or that. So we go ahead and hit play, and I'm going to go straight to the menu. So we're going to go ahead and kind of skip forward a bit. Notice the DVD menu now in play. The orbiter has now updating its system here. And of course, here we are. Notice it's a little slow, but it's actually functioning. Kind of cool, huh? 
So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hit play. Everything stays in sync. Well, uh, there we go. I mean, really, it's quite amazing that we were able to do this. So uh, I guess I'm going to try to take and push this out as a system update so everybody can use it. And uh, I'm going to continue squashing bugs. Talk to you guys later. Bye.